So how long is it gonna take? Uh, I would like another hour and a half on this. Okay. Hey, this is the exciting. The big guns are here, look out. Whoa. What do you think of that? That's crazy. Do you like it? I think so. I'm always excited to see the ideas come to life. What's wrong with it? Well, don't look at it aside. It's a bit, bit. So Marcia comes in and she has not been in the zone and she's just like looking at the stuff. That's cool. It's almost Wizard of Oz like. I really like that. I looked at Jordy's Alien, I thought, oh, that's cool, I like it. But I know Ed was wanting a Roswell alien. But you wanted a gray, didn't you? Like a... You're kidding. Like the gray with the... You did not That's want supposed to be a Roswell alien. Yeah, you know. You didn't tell Jordu? I did. No, you of didn't. Of course I did. I told Jordu Roswell uh -huh. alien. He knows what that is. Everybody in the world knows what that is. He, I think he forgot. Ed? Yes. Roswell Dalian, that's what I said. He actually didn't say that. I did say Roswell Dalian. Uh -oh. Your brain is not working. This is so annoying to me, you know? Ed has been standing next to me for two hours. He says nothing. Marcia comes in. Uh, suddenly, his amnesia's gone. That shape, that, in fact, that's one of the reasons I want to do the, the, the Roswell Dalian. The shape is perfect. That balloon is perfect for the traditional alien. Jordu holds it together. It's kind of like an explosion going off in a six inch thick stainless steel box. This Roswell thing is out of hand. But it's I forgot, I was so focused on the baby. I just, Why is the Roswell alien attention. the only alien you guys can do? Because they sell. My imagination, my brain, leave it home, Jordu, leave it back in LA. Cause you're just a pair of hands. You're a puppet, you're a marionette, you're a joke. You're a clown. You're a loser. You're a failure. That's fine. I love being all those things, and I can be them all at once. I'm accepting of my fate as a pair of hands and not a creative individual of any stripe at all. No, now that's not true at all. As Jordu goes off to cool down, Mondo and Mark are pulling the vampirus mold. Okay, Mark. Let's see, how was my girlfriend? When Mikey was working on the vampires, I named the vampires Mando's girlfriend. Mark is gonna be helping Mondo get through all these molds. I'm doing what I can to help everybody out, and the nice part about it is I'm learning every piece of, of making monsters, from painting to molding, doing the latex. Look at, even she calling my name, Mando, 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 Mando. Mikey is working on the guard dog, Janine is trimming up the vampirus, and Lee is almost done with the candy man. Ed, thank you so much for roughing it in for me. Yeah, you're welcome. See, you just start fresh. Have you recuperated? Um, I have. So, Ed says that mine should be an alien, so that's what I have to do. There's good news and bad news. I don't want any bad news, well, just tell me the good news. The good news is I'm going to make this a Roswell alien. I like it. What's the bad news? The bad news is this is the last Roswell alien I'm ever going to sculpt. Is that right? Yeah, it really? Is. Yeah. I don't think I'm going to be able to get Jordu over this thing. He's he's had, you know, an emotional meltdown and he's uh, he's not happy. Anyway, um, let's make this into a Roswell alien. Hot dog. Let's start off by pulling out these eyes. Get those eyes out of there. Let's get those eyes out of there. That's right. All right, let's destroy all the creativity. Yeah, get that rid of that creativity. into the face. You know what I realized after you left? What did you realize after I left? In a rage. I realized that I was sculpting you. So I sculpted the baby, and Jordu sculpted the Roswell alien, but it turns out the real baby was Jordu. That's you after I told you you had to change the eyes. <laughs> How's our candy man? He's coming along. He looks like the original guy. Yeah? The face, yeah. Good. Yeah. But there is a whole new dynamic to this guy now. Basically, yeah. what we decided um, is we didn't get the hats in yet, right. so we don't really know how to sculpt this area to fit the hat. So what we decided on the hat was to go ahead and sculpt the hat, embed this plastic container inside in a bag itself, 
And then when we're all done, we pull it out of the mold and cut around the rubber, and hopefully we'll have a nice little dish for the candy. So for you, though, you have to sculpt the, the, hat, the hat and the hand. Which makes it easier in a way, because then you just, you just do half hands and you just lay them up onto your sculpted hat, just like the original. I can sculpt. picture him perfectly. All right, become one mind. with the candy man. Oh, no problem. All right, Looks thanks. Great, Looks Lee. really good. All right, thanks, guys. Good morning, Mikey. Good morning. Hi, Mikey. Hey. How's it going? Uh, look good at night? this dude. Yeah, yeah, it was a good night. I'm looking at Mikey's guard dog, and it's just a little too friendly, a little bit like, oh, he might be somebody's puppy. You know, Mikey, there is one thing that this guy has that's kind of interesting. Mm. Look how flat that plane is. Yeah, I mean, this guy's got a pretty flat situation if you look at him from profile. Ed is obsessed with this eyebrow that he does on everything. Well, now, I don't know if that's a very dog-like eyebrow. Let's see. Ed put his, you know, trademark ridiculous eyebrows on, on the dog. Because I, I know it's probably it, it not works. quite reality, but it, it just conveys that But it actually looks better. It just looks cooler. It looks more menacing, and, you know, it works. All right, Mikey. Well, we're going to go Continue. see if we can irritate Lee. Oh, God bless him. I'm hoping Lee has the Candyman finished. If not, he may be staying in Greeley a little longer than he wants to. Lee, how is it going? Oh, he's coming along great. Just trying to uh, get the final detail and form in, but uh, oh, I'm feeling good. Great. With all the compromises we had to make to make him flat back and speed that we had to make him in, we really love him. Don't feel too good because of the storm. We've got to get you out of here oh. a little early. So just keep going. Just right. go as fast as you can. I'm really happy with how he looks. I would have loved to have spent more time, but the blizzard is here and we've got to rush to the airport. The sculptors got out just in a nick of time because it has really started to snow. But neither rain, nor sleet, nor snow can stop us from finishing up for the Houston show. Number one, where do you want this guy? Uh, right there, on the floor. Okay, tell me there's more. Uh, just look over there. Oh, mercy, Just put them on look. the tables. Yeah, and let's just start piling order. them up. The sculpts are finally done, and everything's going into paint, but we have so much to do. All right, well, I'll start <laughs> painting. Well, it never gets old here at Distortions. We always have fun getting ready for a trade show. No way, we're in hell. Ah! Of the nine levels of Distortion's Hell, thankfully, we only have two left before we go to Houston. Next up, Heron Wardrobe. 